live at 10. Right now at 10, some say it's a fight for equality. Others say it's immoral. The battle over same-sex marriage takes center stage. And for the first time, that battle went to the U.S. Supreme Court today. Gay, straight, black or white, marriage is a civil right. One man, one woman. The high court took up the appeal of California's gay marriage ban. Supporters and opponents poured into the nation's capital. Just like the country, the justices appear split. The place for the decision to be made regarding redefining marriage is with the people, not, not with the courts. We love them, we love our family, and we look forward to the day when we will be treated equally, just like our neighbors' families. But one key justice argued banning gay marriage does harm children like Spencer. Wisconsin's ban on same-sex marriage could be in jeopardy if the Supreme Court overturns California's law. Annie Scholes was at a rally tonight where people are hoping that's exactly what happens. Annie. Well, Mike and Carol, that message was heard loud and clear here in Milwaukee where supporters of same-sex marriage rallied to say love is love and that's all that matters. I am. A crowd filled Plymouth Church in Milwaukee Tuesday night in support of equal rights for same-sex couples. Couples like Jason Burns and Nathan Bruner. Our love is real, and so if marriage is supposed to celebrate love, then, what, then we shouldn't be considered a threat. The two were married eight months ago in Washington, D.C., and argue their union isn't that unusual. We stress about paying the bills and, and worry about the dog and one day having kids and our dreams and our hopes. We're just like everybody else. It's something Ray Vahey has felt for decades. He met Richard, the love of his life, in 1956. It took 50 years together to really find their voice. I was asked to speak to Pride Fest in 2005 five along with him and we did and we never shut up after that. <laughs> that includes saying I do a year later in the hospital right before Richard died. Ray tells me he misses his husband every day and he'll fight so other couples can have a chance to share what they did for so long. There is nothing so beautiful as love and that's what we're here for. And there were no protesters at tonight's rally. Jason, who you heard from in that story, tells me he's flying to Washington, D.C. tomorrow morning to be a part of what's happening there. On your side, live in Milwaukee, Annie Schultz, today's TMJ4. Thanks, Annie. We also talked to Milwaukee Archbishop Jerome Listecki. It doesn't change the, the fact. The fact is that marriage is between one man and one woman. That's what traditionally marriage has been. That's what it will continue to be, despite the fact that individuals try to redefine it. Wisconsin Senator Tammy Baldwin, who is openly gay, said today people's views are changing because they believe that gay family members, friends and neighbors deserve to be treated like everyone else in the United States. Breaking news now in Milwaukee.